Hello there. Today's video is on how to build a gallery. So it's a pretty complex uh, JavaScript process. Uh, each one of these is an image pulling from actually my Google Plus account. Uh, by default it's going to load the first image and uh, you can you can see all the little thumbnails when I click on each one of them they pop up in the little right side box. Uh, it's a pretty long video. Hopefully you'll stick around for it and uh, watch it and uh, maybe get to use it in the future. Uh, go check out my GitHub page. I'm going to throw it up on there in case you just want to use it. But the fact that this video is so long shows you why most uh, most developers just go get a, get a plugin that works. Uh, but this is, you know, hopefully teach you a little bit about JavaScript and jQuery. And uh, I guess let's get into it. Okay, so let's get building on this image gallery. Uh, what you're going to need is a browser. A uh, well, you don't need a command line, but you will need a text editor. Uh, so you can see I've got three files here. Let me actually show you. That's why I have command line open. Let's do a tree. You can see that I've got a oops a directory called images. Um, several images inside of that directory. Uh, a file called index.html. Directory called Techno Gallery, a couple of files called Techno Gallery.js and Techno Gallery. Uh, Techno Gallery Style.css. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Um, so here's the blank page, and you can see index.html, Techno Gallery.js, uh, Techno Gallery Style.css. They're all blank pages. First, before we get started, let's go ahead and get started by doing some HTML. Uh, so, open paren or open bracket, sorry, uh, doc type HTML, HTML, and uh, anytime you open one tag, you have to close the other tag, HTML. Oops, forgot my shift key there. Uh, we're going to need a head, head, everybody needs a head. Uh, we need to close that head. Uh, come on, Sublime, get it together. Uh, body, close that body. Come on, you can space it properly, Sublime. Save that. Um, in the head, we're actually going to reference the uh, JavaScript. Host it by Google Hosted Libraries. Um, Google's nice enough, and for some reason, I don't think I speak English. Uh, I don't know what all this business is up here, but. Um, Sometimes they show me Japanese stuff, but uh, let's go down to uh, jQuery, and here we are, jQuery. So this is a hosted version of jQuery. We're going to be using this to build the gallery, so you need to copy that and stick that in your head. Now for me, it never seems to work unless I specify the protocol, so there we go. We'll save that, and uh, in the body, just to make sure it works. Uh, chicken, save, see the page, Ooh, there's chicken, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put an order, unordered list in there, because that's what I'm going to be using for this video. Um, you can use what you want, but I would recommend until you get the concept down, you do it the way I'm doing it. Uh, so, because I tried to make, a, make this as easy as possible for end users, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is this. Uh, let's go ahead and put in there images slash um, zero dot png, which you can see here. The directory of images has all of these files in there. We're not going to do all those guys. images.png and say this is image zero. There we go. That I want to copy. So copy, paste. We'll just do five. And um, they're just pictures of numbers actually. They're nothing really high tech. So if you just want to make a bunch of photos up or just open up paint or whatever you got stick some images in there uh, just gonna do the five start it with zero that's why uh, I only got up to four so 
here's the page now bullet list nice very good okay so let's go ahead and start with uh, adding a script for JavaScript so we'll copy that and paste that and uh, cheat a little bit because what we're going to do is reference Techno gallery slash techno gallery.js. So this is the name of the file, techno gallery.js, and this is the name of the directory that that file is in. And we know it works because we'll do an alert of um, 42. Save, refresh. Oh. Save. Oh, I put that in the style. That's why it's not working. Okay, so we'll copy that, save that, stick it in the technogallery.js file. Yeah, it's all pretty now. Refresh. Yeah, there's our pop up. Good. Um, we can get that out of there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the um, head of. Where's index.htm? Index.htm, you've got the head up here. We're going to modify it so that it has some CSS in there. So what we're going to do is dollar paren quote uh, head close quote and close paren. You'll note I'm using the single quote here. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. So append paren single quote. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a string on there. Uh, so we'll do a um, single quote here and we're going to add this CSS file so uh, link type equals and uh, you know that has to be in in uh, quotes so we could do uh, link type equals uh, style sheet but here's the problem you'll note style sheet is a different color from everything else. This is clearly a string, but the single quote, single quote means that this is the string, this is a bunch of gibberish in between, and then I open up another string and then close it, so it's an empty string. So there's two empty strings here with a bunch of gibberish in between because JavaScript gets confused when you use quotes inside a quote. So we're gonna do a double quote and a double quote. Oh put that single quote back on there quit trying to edit for me there uh, link type equals style sheet rel equals oh wait I got it backwards link type equals text slash CSS rel equals style sheet sorry and um, href equals um, we're going to go for techno gallery slash techno gallery style dot CSS close the double quote close the bracket like if you put this in the head of um, of the HTML file it would work fine but this is kind of how a plugin works. You gotta, you have to do stuff on the fly like this. So we'll save that. Um, let's go ahead and save that. And just to test it, we'll go into the techno gallery style.css. We'll put a body, uh, curly brace, background, um, blue. Save that. And if the background shows up blue, hmm. so it plugged in our CSS file, even though it was never specified in the actual HTML jQuery appended it onto the end of the head for us so that it works just as if we would put it in there. Uh, so now that that's done, let's get started with the um, save that and uh, get started with the JavaScript, the actual JavaScript. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify, did I already put a class on this unordered list? I did not. The class is what's going to do it. So we're going to do a class equals open quote of techno gallery 
Hmm. Can't spell. All right. Uh, techno gallery. Save that. So dollar per in open quote um, dot techno gallery. And uh, inside of Techno Gallery, we're going to take the LIs, the list items, um, the even ones specifically. So this is a pseudo selector. And we're going to add class of even. Now we're going to test this by doing class of. Save a background of blue. We know this CSS is already working uh, because we did this body. Actually, let's change it to green. Green. Uh, but we didn't test the uh, dot even. And obviously, we've made a mistake at this point because our list items aren't showing up as green. And there's a reason for that. So when the uh, browser reads the page, it goes through here and it says, okay, I can reference that jQuery. Uh, oh, I got to reference an external file. Sure. So it goes over here. It reads this external file and says, oh, okay, I'll pin that onto the end of it, uh, which means now I need to go read this as well. Uh, and then at this point, it adds the class of even to... Um, list items that are even in Techno Gallery, but it's uh, still on this line in the HTML, so it hasn't technically read that part, so it doesn't know how to apply CSS to an element that doesn't exist yet. Uh, so that's a problem. And then it goes down here and builds the stuff and never colors it. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, and we're going to move it down here below the footer. Save that. There we go. Now the even ones are uh, green background. Now you may be thinking to yourself, isn't one um, an odd number? So shouldn't this first one be? Well, JavaScript is a is based on a zero-based counting system. That's why I use the uh, zero.png here. First number in a lot of times in computing is the number zero. Zero is an even number. Uh, odds one's an odd number. So it colored the first one here green, which is the zeroth one, really. Uh, and then this is uh, the first one, so it's an odd number. And, you know, two is even, four is even, six is even, eight is even, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so that's a little confusing, the fact that the uh, even selector here is really the odd one, the way that, compu that humans count. Um, I think CSS has got it the other way, but JavaScript does it this way. So we're going to do a uh, dollar and paren and single quote, and we're going to do dot techno gallery, close quote, close paren, dot uh, each paren, and we're going to do a function here. So function paren, uh, I like space there, curly brace, let's put our semicolon on the end so we don't lose it. Let's make a note because this is going to get long. Uh, ends the techno gallery each function. Alright. And in here we're just doing alert just to make sure that everything's kosher. Oops. So refresh. Oh, save that. We don't really uh, save. Alrighty, so. Oh, I have an extra L in there. That's my problem. Save that. Now refresh. Yeah, there's my flash, my pop-up. Okay, so now that we've got that working, let's go ahead and get rid of this alert. 
and we're going to do a function inside of this function. So, um, paren this, which will reference whatever is specified uh, here. Uh, each one of the techno galleries will go through these one at a time. And uh, this references whichever techno gallery we have. Say there's multiple on each page. Uh, so this dot children paren dot each uh, paren and we're going to put a semicolon. So now we're going to go through each one of the list items. Uh, so for each one of these um, list items we're going to do a function and then curly braces so this is um, end of each list item function so we'll do a, an alert here And since there are 10 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. All right, so we know that works. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we're going to do an if. If else. So uh, if, again, with the um, testing of the if, and you're going to have uh, curly braces. Enter, let's do the semicolon, end, oops, and what we're going to do here is end of uh, testing for even, end of testing for even list items. So if, dollar, this, dot has class of um, even then what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to do a um, we're going to do a, a string here Let's just give it a variable var q equals one because what I want to do at the end here is end of each list item, end of the techno gallery each. Uh, so I want to add something after here of um, dollar paren this. dot after paren and um, single quote well, let's just put a paragraph right now p slash p of a chicken see if that pops up after yes okay so what we did here was after this techno gallery After it, add a paragraph of chicken. All right, so we're going to do uh, a single quote, and after this, put in there a uh, paragraph, and that paragraph is going to have a uh, div in it. And it's a uh, it's going to be a uh, class of um, now we got the single quote so we need to do the double quotes techno gallery big box close that and then um, oh divs not working right there we go close the div now and then we'll do a slash div and save that 
and uh, we're going to do the CSS at this point. So we're going to do um, dot techno gallery uh, big box with a uh, width of um, 200 picks and a height of 200 picks background color of um, black boy save that refresh yeah there's a big black box that we want we want it to uh, float right so it'll appear on the right side of the page uh, after we do that though we're gonna have to do a clear because anytime you do a float you have to do a clear so we're gonna put another div in here div slash div and we'll do a style equals and um, clear both save that because if we don't every element afterwards we'll wind up having a float on it so we'll save that there's the end of that div okay alrighty So um, we need to start working on this, um, building the little boxes, basically. Um, okay, so we're gonna have it build the um, build the boxes dynamically, and to do that, we're going to enter a variable. So we'll do a var a gallery content equals, and we'll make it an empty string, semicolon, save that. And if this has the class of even um, gallery content, plus equals open quote oh there I go single quote um, single quote of a div and then close the div and we'll do a uh, class equals what do we call that other class now this is where we're gonna have to start using quotes inside of quotes uh, so techno gallery big box but it's gonna be called techno gallery little box so we got to do the double quote because we're quotes inside of quotes here um, techno gallery and we call this little box and um, yeah we'll just run like that uh, so we'll copy this just to test it out and um, trying to build this slowly so you guys can keep up uh, paste that right there and we're gonna do a, a background color of uh, blue, save that, a uh, width, 25 picks, uh, your measurements might be a little different, height, 25 picks, um, always want to do a padding, 0 picks, just because I don't like having extra space, margin, 0 picks, Copy that. Let's put that on that gallery big box as well. And it's actually going to be a float left. Because I want them to float on the left side. So what do we got here? And it looks like I messed something up there because that is not working. So what do we got here? We got an opening div, a uh, closing div. We need a semicolon to finish off that. And um, gallery content equals. All right, so what am I doing wrong here? Let's comment that out.
big box comes back. So apparently the problem is with that line right there. Gallery content plus equals. Open quote. Div class equals. <coughs> Close div. Save that. Doesn't like me adding to that string. Equals semicolon save. Refresh. Doesn't like that. Plus equals. Can we add nothing to it? I was thinking plus equals was kosher. Uh, plus equals. Hmm. All right, let me pause it here. I know what it is. It's because I've made a typo. I can't spell gallery. There we go, gallery content, save that. Techno Gallery Little Box should have a color though, so we'll save that. Refresh. Hmm. Oh wait, we haven't actually done anything with it. Uh, so, in the middle of this, we're going to put, here's the end of the big box, right? We're going to put a um, single quote single quote so in between we could put a plus plus with the uh, gallery content so what it's going to do we have a blank gallery content there's nothing in the string every string that goes through it's going to build a um, every list item that happens to be even uh, or have the class of even it will add a div uh, or at least HTML for a div to the string and at the very end it's going to add after the unordered list this string which consists of paragraph uh, the big box div uh, whatever gallery content is equal which currently would be a div for each one of the even list items oops ooh. and close uh, oh a uh, div to clear the float we save that refresh there we go uh, let's actually put a little padding on this. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea to not put a little bit of margin on there. We'll put a little margin on there. There we go. So we got uh, five even ones and five little blue boxes. So we know that's working. That's good. It's good. Okay. Um, but we got to get the, uh, the background image. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little style here. Um, on these little guys. So we're going to do a uh, style equals double quote and we're going to do a uh, background image quote URL paren paren and then close the quote for the style. Now this is where it gets tricky. So we've um, we've used the single quote, we've used the double quote inside the single quote, and now we need another quote because this CSS property is going to want to use quotes. So we're going to use an escape character. Uh, we can't use the double quote. When, when I do the single quote it's going to throw off JavaScript. When I do the double quote it's going to throw off CSS. So I can't use the double quote, but I can't use a single quote because that's going to throw off JavaScript. So what I'm going to actually do is what's called an escape. Uh, so let's go ahead and do backslash single quote, backslash single quote. And what that says, and that's why it's this weird colors, it says it tells JavaScript to not treat this as the end of a string. Just treat it as a character. Don't treat it as anything special. It's not a command for you. You're not supposed to pay attention to it nothing like that so in there uh, we're gonna close the JavaScript string and reopen it uh, so there we do need the uh, the single quotes uh, but 
CSS needs its single quotes as well so that it'll have it in here and I know this is really really confusing um, hopefully you're not completely colorblind I'm a little colorblind but I can tell the difference in this sort of thing so we're gonna do uh, this dot inner HTML so the inside of this list item has an address to the individual image so what we've got is for each box we build a div we put a class on it for the CSS we give it a style because each one of them will have a different image of um, background image uh, close the string actually open the quotes for CSS close the string so we can do a plus this items inner HTML which means it'll read this text on the page, the ones that I have highlighted for each one of these guys and go through them each one by one because we're doing an each function here um, plus reopen a new string uh, close the quotes for uh, CSS close the quotes around the CSS, the inline CSS in the HTML close the div and close the JavaScript string. And if all of this works, we've got quotes and quotes and quotes, um, they should all have the same kind of background image, different background image. They do because they all turn black. The images are actually uh, black pictures. I should have thought of that before I did that. Um, but we're going to do a uh, background size of 100%. Um, yeah, there we go. We've got images, baby. Yeah, so there's just black pictures of numbers. Uh, you may want to do a second one of, say, uh, 100%. Uh, if I do a height, let's do a height, say, of 50 pics like this. What you're going to have is they're twice as tall as they are wide. The background width is 100% you're going to get a repeat like that because the boxes are twice as tall as they are wide so you're probably going to want to do a uh, background uh, repeat of uh, no repeat so they don't repeat there you go you can see the blue underneath let's go ahead and get rid of that blue because that's going to be distracting um, like this save that refresh uh, just for fun we're going to do a border on it no, well, you, you don't want to do this in the real world, but a border of, um, say, you know, um, one pix solid blue, just so we know where the boxes are. There's the boxes. All right, so we've got ourselves kind of a working gallery type of thing. They don't really do anything yet. So I'm going to pause here, catch my breath, and we'll pick this up in a minute. Okay, so we... Um, we actually kind of have it working here. You know, we could just about leave it here. But, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for SEO. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to modify this if statement. And we're going to put an else on it. So, uh, else. Else curly brace. Close my curly brace for the end of my else statement. So, um, oops. Well, I didn't do that quite right. And do, and I'm going to do this uh, end of if else testing for even list items. And it shouldn't break it. No, nope, doesn't break it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do gallery content. Now, if I stuck a var in front of this, this would be a function that is specific to this if else statement uh, completely independent of um, this var gallery so you need to make sure you know you know whether you're saying a global variable or a local variable because if I did a var in front of these gallery contents they would just be local to this if else statement but since I didn't specify the var in front of it it's going to modify this gallery content which is local to this um, function right here 
All right, so var gallery content uh, plus equals, oops, plus equals uh, semi, and we're going to do afterwards. We're just going to copy this little bit right here and erase it off of here and put it down here instead. So uh, whenever it hits the even ones, it'll make the first half of the div. And whenever it hits the odd ones, it'll close out that first half of the div. And really, that's all that's doing there um, for right now. Still works. Still got full functionality. Good, good. Um, in front of that, I'm actually going to put an alt tag. Oh. Uh, so in front of that, I'm going to put uh, an alt because I'm a sucker for SEO, I want to be able to mouse over and see a description of the photo. So alt equals, and here we have the problem again with the, uh, we're inside a single quote, so we got to use a double quote. And uh, title equals double quote, and we'll say thing, and uh, thing, save that, refresh. Now when I mouse over these guys, thing, thing, Thing. So we got a little SEO action going on there, uh, but we don't want it to say thing. Oh, wait, I don't have quotes around thing there with the alt. And we're going to have spaces in here, so we got to have the quotes. Uh, it works without the quotes, but uh, we're going to do close the string, plus plus, and uh, we're going to do this dot uh, enter HTML again. So it's going to go, well, I'm dealing with this uh, this odd list item, and it's inner HTML says this is image zero. So we'll stick that into the string. And the same thing with this, um, with this one right here. Single quotes, close and open the string, plus, plus, stick that in the middle of it. Oops, save that. Oh, why did uh, Sublime do that for me? That's a little weird. I guess I got a little happy there. All right, so refresh, and when I mouse over it, this is image zero, this is image one, this is image two, this is image three, this is image four. So we've got it specifying in between the different uh, list items, and uh, hopefully, you know, the whole quote and quote and quote wasn't extremely confusing for you. Just remember that uh, the strings begin and end in JavaScript with a single quote. Uh, if I have to use a quote in CSS, which is this what this is, or inline CSS, inline HTML, uh, I'm using the double quote. Uh, but then when I have to stick a quote inside of that, I have to use the single quote inside of it. But if I just use a plain single quote, it'll end the, the JavaScript string. So I have to use this escape character to tell JavaScript, do not treat this as the end of a string, just treat it as you know, a normal character, just like you would a letter A, or a number one, or a, you know, uh, I don't know, something else. So we'll save this, and uh, we kind of have a working gallery here. So we can actually do some cool stuff with the CSS maybe, do a background size of, you know, 200%, uh, you know, background uh, position, I think position uh, center should do it. Let's see if that works. Background position center. Um, we can do a background position top center. We can do a negative, you know, 10 picks, I think. That'll make it off center. Uh, we want to get rid of the, uh, we'll make it 10 picks, 10 picks. That way it doesn't slide down. It does like that, you know, whatever. You can have all kinds of fun with it. Um, let's do a uh, bottom right. So it does like that. And um, background size of, say, you know, 300% by 100% and it'll come out all kind of crazy. Uh, let's just stick with the 200. And we'll do a background position of center, and it'll just assume center, center, 
for uh, X and Y axis. So there we go. X and Y axis. It's much cooler when you actually have photos instead of just dorky little numbers like I've got. All right, so the next part we've got to do is we need to uh, make the big box background. So when I click on one of these little guys, it shows the photo over here on the right. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so whenever you click on the um, on the little box, oop, this after for each, that's the end of the each function. Whenever you click on the little box, so dollar paren single quote div dot and um, it's techno gallery gallery little box so that's the uh, whenever you click a div that has the class of techno gallery little box uh, we're gonna change the um, CSS click uh, function Oop, move out of the way click function paren curly brace let's put a semicolon on the end of that And we're going to say um, dollar this. Oop, forgot my paren. This dot prev until and um, hidden. And the reason why I've done it this way, single quote, dot hidden, dot not, paren, and semi-quote, technobiological little box, CSS, paren, background, Dash image, uh, comma, dollar paren this dot CSS paren quote background image and semicolon. Finish off that line. Uh, I'm going to modify this uh, div because this is a lot of business going on here. So we're going to do a div slash div and it's going to have a class of um, hidden and in our CSS we're going to make a, another class called hidden uh, paren or a curly brace, and we're going to do a display none semicolon. So I made a class of hidden, and um, at the very beginning of the gallery, there's going to be this div that's the class hidden. Now on this div, which happens to be Techno Gallery Little Box, anytime it gets clicked, it's going to have the function, it's going to execute a function where it says this until you hit a div of hidden, which would be the first div, uh, and not Techno Gallery Little Box. So don't do the divs called Techno Gallery Little Boxes, which are these guys. I want you to apply the CSS background image the same as this one's CSS background image. So what that means is figure out what this one's CSS background image is and apply the same CSS background image to, uh, oh, I forgot my dot there 
to a it can't be another techno gallery little box and I only want you to apply it on the one until you hit hidden so it'll apply it to all of them but not the techno gallery little boxes which means it won't apply when I click the floor four it won't apply to these other ones it will apply to this big one uh, it'll hit every div until it hits the hidden one which is technically you know between the number image four here and the actual boxes so it'll hit every div until I wind up hitting that one so let's actually take out the knot how's that maybe that'll make more sense save refresh so when I click on four it changes all of them until it hits that hidden div so that's why the not techno gallery little box is there because I don't want to change the techno gallery little boxes I just want to change the big one. Oh well uh, so not techno gallery little box until hidden mm. make sure I've got that prev until hidden not techno gallery little box CSS background image save that refresh so whenever I hit zero it changes one changes all the ones before it so I've probably got another typo here all right let me pause it here while I figure out what I've done wrong yeah I knew it typo uh, I forgot my dot in front of the class so techno gallery little box save that now let's refresh now when I hit zero it just does all the divs before it that are not techno gallery little box which currently is only this one until it hits the hidden one and the hidden one is you know before this one so there we go we've got a working gallery it's got the alt text it's got a title for SEO purposes uh, we've got another div afterwards that clears the float. Uh, theoretically, we could uh, we could just about call it quits here, except for one thing. Uh, your clients, let's get rid of this CSS. Um, your clients may want to actually have a background uh, image load by default. So let's go ahead and work on that as well. And say... Um, give it a var let's say this is used to hold all the little boxes as a string until need it all the little boxes at HTML and we're gonna do a uh, var And we're going to say um, gallery content uh, equals single quote semicolon empty string. Actually, we're going to make it a, a false. So we'll save that. And before we wind up running the, um, the if else we're gonna do another if else statement so we'll say uh, if and we'll say um, exclamation big wait oh I did the wrong thing uh, I'll use valor gallery content big box background big box background sorry I'm kinda of running off my notes here big box background so what this would say is if big box background is um, not equal to true but since um, 
jQuery is an object-oriented language, um, a lot of items test to true anyway. So we can just do if big box background, and that's saying if it's not true, putting that exclamation in front of it, curly brace, then big box background, oh, I forgot my semicolon on the end of that, big box background equals, and it should be uh, this dot enter HTML. Because on the first one, it's going to fire off, and then it's going to have a value, and it won't be false anymore. It'll be true, because a lot of JavaScript objects uh, resolve to true. Save that. Make sure I didn't screw anything up. Yeah. Well, the box disappeared, but that's because we removed the color. Uh, so now, what we need to do is here in big box background, which is Techno Gallery Big Box, we'll do a style equals. All right, so we're inside of a string here. We use the single string to make the quote, double string to do the style, um, and we're going to do a background image of colon and then URL paren close paren uh, we've closed the quote for the CSS but we're gonna have to use a quote here we can't use a double quote because that'll screw up the CSS if we use a single quote it's gonna screw up the JavaScript so we gotta do the escape character again here and uh, we'll do close the string and open the string plus plus and in there we'll do big box background so refresh and it should just pick the first image as the big box background so what it does is um, first off we give big box background a value of false for each one of the lists um, if big box background uh, oh for each one of the list items if big box background evaluates to false uh, we're going to make big box background equal to this dot in HTML. Now, normally uh, on the first go, on every one of these, it's going to evaluate to false, except now we've assigned it a value. It's technically a string at this point. So the second time when it runs through all the children, uh, it's going to go, well, if big box background is equal to false, on the second list item, it's not going to be false anymore because it's a string. Strings evaluate to true in object oriented languages. So it's not even, it's just going to skip over this and go down to here, building its boxes. Um, actually, it's going to go to the else part of it and finish off the HTML to finish off the little box. Okay. So we've got a, uh, a working gallery at this point. Uh, the one thing that you might want to change is some of the CSS. Uh, I'm actually going to put another thing on here. We're going to do a, uh, I'm at the very end, right? Dollar percent document close paren um, dot bind and because uh, a lot of photographers ask for this sort of thing so we'll do a single quote uh, context uh, menu single quote and we'll do a uh, function paren e which means uh, on this event when somebody um, hits the context menu, which is a right click, I want you to uh, alert. Uh, yeah, let's do a copy right by me. You can put whatever text you want in there. So whenever I refresh the page, you know, people want to steal your images. So you right click and it goes, no, copyright by me. Uh, but when you click on the individual images, it changes the big box gallery. So uh, you can actually do this with the way it's built because it's got the prev until you can do um, multiples. So let's do uh, control C, oh, control C, control V, control V, control V. Save that, refresh, 
and we've got multiple galleries and when I click this four it changes this one here but it doesn't change this one up here so when I click this three it changes that one but it doesn't change this one down here or um, one up there when I click the one it changes that one but it doesn't change this one or that one so uh, one more thing we have left to do is we have to do a uh, dot techno gallery again with the three L's thank you uh, curly brace display uh, none actually we can just uh, combine it by doing this combine it up there with the dot hidden uh, comma V save refresh all the galleries are now hidden uh, technically you know if anybody surfs the HTML or CSS they will be able to still see it uh, and figure it out but once you incorporate this into a full-blown website it um, it gets a lot more complex so um, there you go there's you a, uh, a little gallery uh, hopefully that wasn't too hard for you and um, hopefully you played played along and you uh, you learned something in the process uh, so thank you for watching If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?